Now, I was very surprised the other day to receive an email from Sense Cuthbert Mill, who are the ones who make my favourite paper, Lockingford. They very kindly sent me a package here, just taking my dress off it. And they said, well, Paul, would you mind doing a video on, on opening the package? Should we have a look? So it's inside. Eee, can't wait. So let's take it apart. Here we go. And see what's in there. And I hasten to add, the packaging is all recyclable, which is even better. I can't get it out. Okay, pull that down to one side, on the floor. And look at that, look at that, look at that. Isn't that nice? Now, I've never had a package sent to me like this of paper, which I know what it is, um, kind of wrapped up in a little bowl like this. That lovely, it really is. So let's have a quick look inside, shall we, and see what it's all about. I do feel very privileged to receive something like this, so thank you very much indeed for sending this to me, St Cuthbert's Mill. Okay, very good of you. I do use their other paper as well, which is Saunders Waterford. Lovely 100% cotton paper. So let's have a quick look inside. So it says on there, look, Happy World Art Day from St Cuthbert's Mill. Ooh, I often get a little free gifts like this, it's very nice, isn't it? Now, in the back, let's open the paper. I don't like destroying wrapping it, don't know about you, I don't like to tear it off. This is like Christmas to me though, whenever you see something like this, I have to say. And there we go, a Bockingford pad of paper. Now, as I mentioned, I do like Bockingford, and this is the size I always use, 12 by 9 inches, or in this case, 310 by, what was it, 230 millimetres. Now, I've been using this particular paper for many, many years, so a lot of my video lessons which I produce to my Patreon members. I do like it because it's a £140 cold press paper, and because of that, it doesn't tend to warp quite as much, unless you put lots and lots of washes on. If that's the case, then obviously you need to stretch the paper. What I'm going to do with this, most likely, is either stretch it, okay, so take a sheet off, put in some water for two or three minutes soak in, put it onto a big board, and then tape it all the way down, if you want to staple it as well. And then that will be ideal for stretch watercolour paper. Or I could use it for less wet and wet projects for that. The one I tend to use most of all is their same pad, exactly the same one here, which I'm working on this one here at the moment. And this one is the block pad, in other words, it's glued all the way around the pad. And because of that, it doesn't warp too much. Yes, it kind of cockles a little bit when it's wet, but when it dries, it goes lovely and flat. And all I need to do is to take a little palette knife on a little tiny gap they've got just at the very top, all the way around, to kind of remove that one sheet of paper. So the block pad is really good as well. Now this is made on a similar mould to archival standard St. Cuthbert's Mill. And apparently use a, a woolen felt as well to give that unique texture to the paper, which it really has as well, which is why I tend to use it a lot. It's got a lovely kind of texture to it, which allows the water to soak into the paper, but not too quickly, and that's what I like about it. So therefore, it's got really good water holding properties. Now, I've been using Bockingford paper for many, many years, and it will always be my favourite number one watercolour surface. And because I'm a fine artist, I do like the texture on this paper. So thank you very, very much, St Cuthbert's Mill, for producing this wonderful quality paper.